welcome everyone. Don't look back. Another Boston classic. Uh, this this song just uh, heard it the other day and wanted to figure it out. So here we are. I'm using amplitude six through, or I'm sorry, amplitude five. There isn't a six yet. Amplitude five through. Uh, Joe Satriani has a rock bin in his module, so I'm using the rock bin for the sound. So. If you don't have a rock band, you can get this very close with a chorus pedal and a compression pedal. The compression having a lot of compression and of course a saturated distortion. A little bit of chorus and an echo and you should be able to get close. So there's a lot to the lesson. We'll get right to it. To start out with, we're going to be on the 14th fret. Right? And we're going to hammer into 15 and 16. So we're going to hit it, hammer in, and then hit it two more times before hitting 14 without. Then you'll hear the little chuck up. One, two, three. Before we come to seven on the fourth, third, and second string. And then we go to nine on the fourth, second, and third string. And we'll add our... Uh, middle finger down on that second string at 10 and then take off back to 9. So it'll be 9, 10, 9. All right. So together slowly, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's almost harder to show slower, but you get the idea. That is consistent throughout the intro until the end of the second measure. They're just going to come in from this A and we'll just call it A suspended. Then he's going to come into a E power chord to a B power chord. Alright, before that, during the intro, just after the second you've got this lead lick coming in. It's a really, really well structured. All these leads are great. They're memorable. they got a melody. So what we're going to do is start out, we'll be in the 14th position. We're going to hit 16 three times bent the last time released to four and pulled off to 14. Then we're going to catch 17 on the um, second string. So we have this so far. Then we're going to do this little lick where we hit 14, then we'll come to, this is on the second string, 15 pulled off to 14, and then 14 again, 17 pulled off to 14, and then 14 again. So you'll have this. One more time through. one will be 15 to 14 then we'll go quickly 16 on the third string to 14 on the second back to 16 bent then we'll start the end of the solo so let's go over this 17 I'm sorry um, 14 15 and 17 14 one two three four of this lick is going to hit 16 again, bend that up, 16 unbent to 14 on the third string, come to the fourth string, 16, 14, and end on 16 on the fifth string, slid down. Alright, so that all should sound familiar to you. Let's go through the whole thing again. This is really fun to play. One, two, three, four. So obviously, you know, Boston has two guitars, um, sometimes three, depending on who was playing. But one guitar will kind of go to an A. The other guitar during 
the verses just does what we did during the intro. All right. <laughs> So you've got that main guitar going, he'll do that for two measures. Now like I said, at the in the intro, he goes from E to B. Right. During the verse, he's going to go from E up to F sharp. Right. So the last half measure of the second... Second me okay, first verse, second measure, last half. Alright, and then we're into what we call the picking sequence. Alright, so after the first verse, we end with that E to F sharp. And then what's really nice about this um, Rockman is it cleans up really well. I'm just using my rhythm pickup for this at about four. Where when I'm at my neck pickup, you've got all that distortion going on. So again, the picking sequence starts with a G chord strum, and then we're gonna pick the third to second string, back to third and fourth, and then um, we're going to move to a C. Alright, the C will be the third um, fret of the fifth string down to the third string, open first fret of the second string back to open third. You'll find this picking sequence is fairly, um, I don't want to say rudimentary, but it's, it's, it's easy, it fits the song. So you're going back and forth, in this case it's between the G and the B string. We we'll just hit the root note, and then we move to a D, okay? So this D chord, we're going to hit the um, open fourth string to the second fret of the third, third fret of the second, back to the second fret of the um, third string. Then we move to a G again, but we're not going to strum it, we're going to pick. Now this time, instead of starting out on the third to second string, we're going to go four, three, two, back to three, four, and then actually go to our C. Alright, the C is the same. The D is the same. And then they change it up. He goes into a C add ninth. The C at ninth, it's basically like playing a G string, but we move everything on the bass strings down a string. So we'll be on the fifth string at um, three and the fourth string at two. All right. So now we're going to pick all the way through the second string and then back to the third string. <laughs> walk down he goes to B and then to A minor and the A minor will walk all the way through it from the open fifth down to the second string back to the open fifth. The open fifth will actually start us into our final D. So, we've got our C at ninth, we've walked down to our A minor, alright, we come back to that open fifth, then we go to open fourth, and then second fret of that third string, third fret of the second string, back to the second fret of the third string. Now, this will continue, this D continues, so we're going to go back and forth from the second to first string after that. So follow me with this, five through the second string, back to three, 
back to two and then one. Then we come back to three, two, to three. And then we're going to go to the first string. This time we'll hit three and pull off to two. Coming back to the second string at three and the third string at two. So let's do that D together. I've written this out, download my notes, it'll be much easier to follow along. Two things I want to say about this picking pattern. One, it's not real difficult, and two, unless you really want to play this note for note, I wouldn't worry about it. I, when I was practicing this, just kind of picked through, and my timing was on with the chord changes, and it sounded fine. But with that said, let's go through the D from the open fifth string. One, two, three, four. All right, so then we come in back with distortion to an E. So for the pre-chorus, what we'll hear after the picking sequence is a double hit on the E power chord. And you'll hear these notes. And then you'll hear another double hit. And then this. Alright, so what we're doing after the double hit, we're pulling off from 9 to 7 on the 3rd string twice, real quick. And then taking the 2nd string at 8, bending that up, and then catching 9 unbent on the 3rd string. So real quickly. Then the double hit, and then what we're going to do is hit 10 3 times on the 2nd string, to 9 on the 2nd string, 9 on the 3rd, Ending up on the first string at 10, bent with vibrato. Alright, so that's the pre-chorus. Then we're into the chorus. Alright, next is the chorus. It's basically a great melody line that's played by, I'm sure, two guitars. And it will sound like this. compression. Alright, so it starts out, and again, each chorus is a little different. So, you know, it's a good thing I wrote this out for you because you can follow along. It's the same with me for teaching it because I don't have the memory I used to have. So one good thing about the chorus, there's a lot of it that repeats as far as a pattern, even including the lead. The lead, we just move everything uh, down a string to the fifth instead of starting on the fourth. So we're going to start on the fourth fret of this, our fourth string, seventh fret. And then we're going to go to four, five, seven, back to four with vibrato. Then we're going to come to the fifth fret of the fourth string, back to the fourth fret of the third with a bend and release. Come seven five three. All right. So we have this so far. One two three four. Now this real pretty lick. We're gonna slide up on the third string to nine. Come back to seven and then hit five and then four. Hammer down to five. Back to four and then come to five, fifth fret of the fourth string and fifth fret of the fifth string. Beautifully, beautifully put together, all right? So, let's do what we've done so far. One, two, three, four. Now 
we'll start again from the fifth fret of the four string to four with a bend and release, ending up on seven with a little vibrato. And then we go four, five, then we're going to hit five again bent, and then hit five unbent. Then five. Alright, so let me take it in context from the... Uh, four hammer on and then the two fives on the fourth and fifth string. Now we're going to come to the fifth fret on the fourth string, fourth fret of the third string, bend and release. Then we want to change positions because we're going to take the second fret of the third string, hammer down to four, back off to two, and then end up on five and three. All right, so I know it's a lot of notes, but follow me on this. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to do that same slide lick on the third string from nine to seven, five, four, hammer down to um, five, back to four. This time we'll end on seven, back, seven on the fourth string, back to four on the third string. All right, so let's take it from the two fives, or the four, five, four that lead up to the two fives. One, two, three, four. <laughs> to five on the fourth string to four bent and release and land on seven on the fourth string to end. All right. And that's all held. So I know it's a lot of notes, but like I said, I've written it out. Let's do it again together slow and then you'll see how everything fits together. One, two, three, four. first chorus. Luckily, again, a lot of those notes in that pattern kind of repeats in the second, third chorus. Of course, we extend it a bit, and even the lead as far as pattern uh, kind of repeats. So now we're into what I'm calling a tag. Now this tag is basically just another um, measure without singing of our intro. Then the verse will start. All right, so the second verse is the same, and it's the same as the first verse. It ends on an E to F sharp. And then we're into the picking sequence. pre-chorus. Okay, for the second pre-chorus, very similar to the first, we'll do the down up down on the E. The first lick is exactly the same as, I'm sorry, the second lick is exactly the same as the first half. Then another. Then what they do is they're going to move to the tenth position. He'll hit ten on the first string, I'm sorry, 10 on the second string to the third string, 13 pulled off to 11, 
three times and then hit 13 again. So it's the real quick pull-offs. And slid down and then you're into chorus two. All right, we'll go over chorus two and the difference uh, just slightly at the end. So for chorus two's melody, the way it, where it changes is when we do that slide up to nine. The second time we'll just slide to seven and then hit nine, ten, and continue from there up a little bit. So I'll play it for you so you can see the difference. <laughs> Okay, so the difference is really the second half of this first measure, rather than hitting five with a bend and then five unbent, we do a five bended release. So, I'm going to take you up to that point. We all know this from the first chorus. One, two, three, four. That's different. After the seven vibrato, we're going to go to four and five with a bended release. And then hit four. Then we come to five with back to four bent and release. Now we move to our second position with that hammer on from two to four, ending up five three on the um, fourth string. Stop short. We're going to go seven on the third string up to nine and then ten. Then at that point, use your middle finger because your first finger will be at the eighth position. What we're going to do is hit eight on the second string, hammer on to ten and pull back off and then end up on nine on the second string back to eight on the I'm sorry nine on the third string back to eight on the second then we come up to twelve we're gonna hit twelve on the third string to twelve on the second bend and release and then ten twelve ten um, hammer down and pulled off Back to 12 on the 3rd string and then landing on 10 on the 2nd to end. Alright, so let's, let's just take this whole thing together slowly so you can see all the different nuances. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, coming out of chorus two, we're into the first bridge. I'm going to play through the first measure on the clean setting with my neck pickup. Sound like this. the fourth third second string at 12 then we're going to pick 14 to 12 on the first string 15 to 12 on the second just kind of let the rest
rest of the chord ring. And then we're going to move to the 10th fret, 4th, 3rd, and 2nd string. We're going to hit that 2nd string at the 10th fret. And then come 12, 10, 12 on the 1st string, back to 10 on the 2nd. To this D with a suspended, so just put your pinky on, or middle finger on the eighth fret, play four, three, and the seventh fret. Lift off that eight and play seven on the second and seven on the fourth. And come into the lick, ten, eight, seven, second string to seven on the third, seven on the fourth. Back to the third string, seven hammered into nine, and that leads us into an A at the fourth root. So we got four on seven, nine on the third, and ten on the second. So it'll sound, let's just take the whole thing together from that A suspended. So for the second half of the bridge, very similar to our intro at the start. We're going to take our A, add our suspended on to the 14th and, uh, I'm sorry, 15th and 16th fret. What happens is we're going to only hit 14 when we come back once and then twice. Two chukas and then we go to 10 instead of 7. All right. So let me play the first half measure because the second one's a little different. So here we are. All right, so as you can see, the second half of this first measure, he just holds at 12. All right, so we're going to start with our hammer on. 14 once, 2 chukas, 10, then we move up to 12 and put our 10, and I'm sorry, this would be at this point, this would be uh, 13 back to 12. Alright, so all together, 1, 2, 3, 4. Start over the the second measure is the first half is the exact same as the second. All right, this last one, what he does is hit the first string on the tens, in addition to uh, fourth, third, and second. So you got more of a. I think that's an F sixth. I'm not sure. Anyhow, and then to 12, 13, 12. Okay, so third measure, we've done our 12 hold. We're to the third measure of the bridge. Alright, now we're into it. We're into another um change up which is kind of a picked lick that leads us into a, a power chord but we'll go over that next so then we come up to the seventh fret it's it almost sounds like just you're striking a full chord it's really playing the bottom half the sevens on the fourth to the second string But so what he does there, and this is fairly quick, we're going to hit that seven from the fourth to the second string, and then we'll hit seven on that fourth string. Then we're going to take eight on the second string, pulled off to seven, and then third string, nine, and then seven. And that leads us to this A root. All right, we're going to add the E over A. 
So it'll be seventh fret of the fifth string, fourth string, and then third string will be at nine and uh, second string at ten. <laughs> to the next part of what's bridging us into really the solo. As we lead up to the solo out of this bridge part, we're going to do something a little different again. All right, we've got our A here. We're going to do this. So what we're doing there is basically hitting A to F, right, power chord. F will lead us into, a, we'll hit another F leading us into G. G again to lead us into A. We'll hit A, pull off 3 to 2, is suspended there, and hit A again. So we'll sound like this, slowly. three times. So if you want to do the actual picking, it will sound like this. Alright, and it just continues. So what we're doing is hitting the open sixth string to one and then three on the fifth string and then picking the third string open G so if you want to do the actual picking it will sound like this continues. So what we're doing is hitting the open sixth string to one and then three on the fifth string and then picking the third string open G. Then we continue picking one to three on the sixth string down to four three open. To three and then change to an A. We'll hit the open fifth string to the second fret on the fourth, third, back to the fourth. Then our little pull off from three to two on the second string back to two on the third. Right, I'm going to clean this tone up and go through that. One, two, three, four. Like I said, it just sounds fine. Again, that's just me. Actually, first solo, I should say. Um, it's really very similar to the chorus, but we're one string up. So we're going to start the seventh fret of the fifth string. And I'll take you to a certain point, and then we'll go over it. Because it changes a bit and we keep going up. 
So real similar to the first course, even the 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 five bends that we do. So we're gonna start out. I'll show you from the fifth string, seventh fret. Now we go to the ninth fret. Now we're gonna go five to six. Start again from five on the fifth string. change a little bit because we're on the fourth string our hammer on will be on the second string eight to ten it's going to be on the third string from seven to eight um, let's take it from the two hammer down so we're hammering on seven to nine on the third string Back to seven. Then we go to ten on the fourth string, and then back to um, seven on the third string. All right. So we now what we're going to do is come to the seventh fret on the third string, and this is what it would sound like. up a note in there but you get the point so again writing this out really helps but what they're doing after he hits that 10 on the four string comes to seven held just slightly then we're going to go seven on the third string to seven on the second string with a slight bend back to nine on the third string then we'll go seven eight Slight vibrato, then ten seven. Then what we do back to seven on the third, a seven on the second, slight bend of vibrato, then switch positions. We're gonna hit five, hammer on to seven, pull off to five on that second string, and seven five on the third. We slide in to 10, come back to 8 with some vibrato, 9 on the 3rd, then what we're going to do is hammer on from 7 to 8, back to 7, and then 7 on the 3rd, 7 on the 4th. Now we'll come back to 7 on the 3rd, 7 on the 2nd, slight bend to nine on the third. Um, let me take it from the seven, eight, seven. Now again, we're going to come back seven, eight, ten with a bend and release. Seven. Now seven on the third. Back to seven on the second, bend and release. Then our five, seven, back to five. Seven to five on the third. All right, so I know it's a lot of freaking notes. And, and again, I wrote it out. So let's take it from the slide up to seven, then nine, ten, pull off. Seven 
on the third string, seven on the second, bend and release. Then our five, seven, back to five on the second. Seven to five on the third. Slide up to ten and then back to eight on the second string. Now we're going to catch nine. And then seven, hammer down to eight, back to seven. Nine on the third and seven on the uh, second. Then a slide up from a bass, seven to eight. And then what we're going to do is slide in from 10 to 12, and then 10, 9, and then an E power chord. So that's a solo. So bridge two is really picking through an E uh, second half of the chord. Then we're going to go to an A over E. Okay, we're not playing the fifth root. We're just playing, consider it an E sus. Up to a D. Then an E sus four. E. And end on an E sus. So we're going to pick three, two, one at the ninth fret twice. time on the nine. Then we add our 10th fret of the second string and 11th fret on the fourth string. Pick through that twice. Come back to 10. Then we move to form a D chord just on the second string at 10, third string at 11, and fourth string at 12. We'll pick through that twice come add to our add a sixth to that D 12th fret of the second string and then 11 on the um, third all right so we have this that leads us to a D sus four so it's like adding you know we've got a D chord which is playing the second half we're adding that little suspension or fourth the tenth fret so it would be ten nine nine twice back to ten nine then nine three times ending on ten <laughs> I know it's a lot of notes hopefully you can follow along with what I've written out we'll go through it slowly so slowly, one, two, three, four. To verse 3, then we do another picking sequence. Alright, and then we're into another pre chorus. This third pre chorus, where we go into the E, is just like the first one. Only difference is it's a pull off from the third ten to nine. The third chorus, quite a bit different from what we've done before with some similarities, if that makes sense. So I'm going to play a uh, maybe half the measure, or no, I'll play the first two measures. to that point. So it's different that we're not sliding all the way up to nine in the first half measure. All right. So we'll do about half the measure the same. At that point, rather 
rather than sliding up to nine, we're going to slide to seven and then come back to five on the third string to seven on the fourth. Then we do our hammer on and pull off from four to five back to four, landing on five on the fourth, five on the fifth. So that's the big difference. We're not sliding up to nine, we're only sliding up to seven and using that seventh fret of the fourth string. So, up to that point, one, two, three, four. Now we'll continue. slide up to seven and then nine ten then our hammer on from eight to ten back to eight on the second string landing on ten on the third string back to eight on the second all right so to that point very similar to what we've learned but now we're going to move up basically the 12th 13th position all right so i'll go over that next so the last section of this league gets a little tricky because we move in between 10, 13, 15th position. So I'm going to take off from the 8, pulled off, back to 8, and then ending on 10, 8. So like I said, it gets a little tricky, and, and again, I've written it out, but what we're doing is going to go to 13 and 15 on the second string with a bend and release, back to 13. Then we're coming up to 15, 17 with some vibrato. And then 18, back to 15. Then we change positions back to 12. And then hit 15, bend and release. And 13, 15, back to 13 on the second string. And then 12 to 13. And 15, 17. And 18, back to 15. Then we're back to our 12th position with the 15, bend and release. Again, another hammer on from 13, 15, back to 13, then 12, 13. Then we're going to do this. 15, 17, 18, down to 15 and 17 on the first string with a bend up. And then we come back to 12. You want to come back actually to the 10th position. Because this lick is, is very similar to what we did in the, uh, I think it was the second chorus. And that ends the third chorus. So the outro rhythm, alright, very similar to the intro. The difference is we're only going to be hitting 14 once. Then we go to 7, and then 9, I'm sorry, not yeah, 9 with our 10 add-on back to um, nine. Then we do it again, but we're going to just hold on nine, so it'll sound like this. Alright, then we start again, and as we get into this, that's when the outro solo will start, alright? We'll do the same. So that is consistent throughout. We'll do that for one, two, three, four and a half measures. 
the ending measure will be like this. Alright, he'll end on an A, but again, we've got a solo that uh, takes us out, and we'll go over that next. So the first measure of the outro solo sound like this. So I'm just going to stop there because again it just it's the first measure so what we're going to do is hit 19 on the first string bend up then we hit it and slide to 21 all right to 22 and then bend 22 then we come back to 17, hammered on to 19, back to 17, and then hit 19, bent with vibrato. So we're going to bend it up, vibrato, and then bend again and release. Then what we do is hit 17 on the second string. Slide off. Then we, so you want to hit 17, bent, vibrato. Then you hit it unbent to the uh, first string, 14, 17, and then you're going to start pulling off, 17 to 14. It's a trill, but it's about eight times. Then we're going to hit 17 on the second fret, so this will take off the second measure. So what we do there is we're going to hit 17 on the second string and then 17 again bent, 17 unbent, I'm sorry, then we're going to hit 17 pulled off to 15 and 14 to 16 on the third back to 14 on the second, ending up 16 on the third string bent and release to 14 with some vibrato and then finally slid down all right so let's take it from the trill So again, all this melody will sound familiar to you. It's just a matter of playing the notes. So now we're to the um, second position, but we're going to be at the fourth fret of the fifth string. We'll do a bend on it, then a bend and release, and then a quick bend and release twice to open. Then a quick, all right, we'll be at the A fourth root, and then to an A, alright, so we have this, then he comes up here to this fifth position, so what we're going to do is bend the third string at seven, hit five on the second, back to seven, bent with some vibrato. Then we go to the second position. Alright, so I'm sure this melody is starting to sound familiar to you. So at that point we go to the third string, second fret to four, bent with some vibrato and then a bend release three times until we come back to two. We'll hit two, and then five on the second string with a bend of vibrato and then again a bend of vibrato. Alright, so from the fifth position, seven to five on the second string. Now he goes into this little pull-off lick. We're going to hit two on the first string, then five pulled off to two on the first and second string. Then we'll 
catch four on the third string, back to two on the second, and then four pulled off to two twice. So we have this. I'm going to start from the two on the first string. And then we go to an A twice. Then the ending lick will sound like this. So what we're doing for the very end, alright, we've hit our A twice. What we're going to do is come up to the third string 7 to 6 and hit 7 on the fourth string. Then we slide up to 10 and catch 9 back to 10 twice. Hitting that, there's a, the second guitar hitting the ending A. So we have this. What a beautifully constructed, melodic song. I really hope this helps everybody. Download my notes. Um, you can look forward to what's coming. This might give you a clue. Huh. All right. Well, I hope everyone enjoys. We'll see you next time.